What's up, everybody? It's Peaceful here. We are doing another video for you today. And today I decided to uh, dive into something that I was experimenting with on Ladder and kind of give you guys my thoughts on it. And that is the question of, is Darkhawk and the Darkhawk strategy still viable in Marvel Snap? Now, you may remember just a few short months ago, this deck was the best deck in the game consistently over and over repeatedly. And through different iterations, through nerfs, through all this other, all these other things going on, this deck was still just one of the best decks in the metagame. And it took different forms. You had your traditional Darkhawk list. You had what became the Black Bolt Satcher good stuff list. But it used to be when you heard about the good cards deck, the good cards deck was Darkhawk. And I wanted to kind of explore uh, Darkhawk and what what had changed. I needed to I needed a little bit of information for myself, and I had some I I had some theories and sort of just understanding from what I had seen happen in the metagame, but I figured it would be kind of a fun thing to dive in and see for ourselves, is this deck still viable in Snap? Now, before we get too much more into it, if you enjoy my content, enjoy this type of thing, please make sure you are subscribed. Hit that like button on the video. Comment down below what your thoughts are on Darkhawk and its status in the metagame. This all helps me grow, helps my channel be successful, and I really, really appreciate it. Now, first things first, I wanted to get into the decks that I played with in order to experiment and see if there was a viable Darkhawk deck still around. The first one I tried was actually one that you probably saw me play a few weeks ago when Ravona came out, and that is the, the Ravona uh, Darkhawk hybrid deck, running a lot of the, the synergy cards with Ravona because Darkhawk itself does synergize with Ravona. Now, this deck felt terrible to me, I have to be honest. It, it felt bad when I first tried it when Ravona came out, and I, I I saw a different list, one that looked a little bit more polished, and I did try that one out on stream, and it did not go well. <laughs> I think I won one Conquest match out of the three or four I played. And the other ones, it just didn't even feel like I was in the game. It felt like I was just not nearly powerful enough to keep up with what was going on. I will have the deck list below in the description if it is something you want to try, but I do not recommend this one at all. It just felt like... Once your opponent knows what you're able to do, knows that you don't have Shang, knows that you don't have those counter tech cards to stop them, that they can just sort of roll right over you. Now, the one you see below that is a little bit more traditional Darkhawk Zabu list that you're probably used to seeing, a sort of good cards list with Legion, with Doctor Doom, with Zabu, and of course, with everyone's favorite new card, Mobius M. Mobius. We'll get to him in a minute. Uh, he's actually much better against us than he is in this deck. But this deck was a little bit more successful. I did get to round four of an infinite contest where I did end up losing. And I, it just felt like every every matchup was a struggle. The ones I won, I, there was a couple times where I, I literally even said to chat, you'll probably see it in these videos. I was like, I don't, I should not have won this game. Our opponents just misplayed. And that's not a good feeling, right? It's, it's not a good sign when you're playing a deck and the only reason you win is because your opponent either makes a mistake or doesn't know what they're doing in the matchup. That, that just... That's just not a good sign because once you get to those higher levels of infinite conquest, once you get to, you know, the 90s and to the infinite rank and snap, it's just not going to work because people are going to know what you're going to do. They're going to know how to play around it. And that is exactly the problems I ran into. People were able to play around what I was trying to do. They knew what the top end of the power output that I could make, and they knew that it wasn't enough to keep up with them. And the best version of this deck, before with Black Bolt and Stature, to me, is just not viable anymore because of the amount of Mobius and Mobius in the metagame. So let's go ahead and get into some of the issues and problems that I have had with this these deck archetypes in general. And the first one is Mobius. So Mobius is in every deck right now. I, I honestly have not... I, I, I think it's probably like 70 to 80% of my Conquest matches, my opponent has had Mobius in their deck. And that just means that you are playing a much more fair game you're not getting those cost discounts from either Zabu or from Ravona or whatever it may be. Uh, I even used to run a Saris style deck with uh, with Darkhawk in it that was very successful for me. And even that gets stopped by Mobius. This two energy card that you get to basically play just for free because it's just fine on rate just stops so much of what made this deck good before. Like the, the Black Bolt into Stature plus Miles plus all these stats and some of the old style decks was incredibly hard for most decks to beat, but now those those discounts just don't happen. And I think, to be honest, I'm I have said this since the beginning. I don't think Mobius is going to exist in this form for a super long time. I think he's just way too good at two. But until they change it, I I, I think he is the number one reason why you just cannot run a Darkhawk style deck because Darkhawk at four is is pretty fair. 
You know, he's not an amazing card, and he takes a lot of slots in your deck to include him because you can't just run Darkhawk, right? Then you're getting a 4 6 or a 4 4 or whatever. It's it's going to be pretty small by the time the game ends. You have to run the rock package with uh, Corrigan Rock Slide, and that it eats up a lot of slots, and the power output is just way too low when you don't get those discounts, and that comes up a lot. Now, the other thing that I've run into a bunch is this was probably the best shell for cards like Shang and some of the other tech cards because you had that flexibility in your energy. And now, a lot of the times, something like Shang becomes your whole turn six, your whole turn five, your whole turn four, or whatever it may be. It's just a lot easier for your opponents, A, to play around it, and B, it just is a lot less consistent because a lot of the top decks just don't care that much about Shang. You know, you got Shuri, that deck does, obviously, but they run armor. So if they have one of their armor draws, they can set up against you. Or if they just have vision uh, to double up with Shuri, it just becomes very difficult for you to properly predict where you need to play that Shang anyway. And on top of that, a lot of the, the top decks like Iron Patriot just don't care at all about Shang. It just doesn't matter to them. You're never going to hit anything powerful with it. We are running Shadow King, which is good into a lot of those decks as well. But it just becomes very, very difficult to properly predict where you need to go with your tech cards because the top decks just are so much more flexible than you are. The other thing that comes up is a lot of times like you can't play Shang if you're not winning at least one location. And that it's it's becoming incredibly difficult for you to be ahead in that one location where you can be certain that you're going to win it. And that ran, that's something that came up a lot as well as I get to turn 6 and I needed to play Shang for their their big threat in order to win a lane, but I just wasn't I had no certainty like if they played a Doctor Doom, I was just going to lose both of the other lanes. Uh, something like that, that sort of thing. This makes it very difficult to use these tech cards in in the same way. And it's just sort of funny to me how the mighty have fallen. Everybody was crying for a Shang nerf, how Shang was too powerful, blah, blah, blah. And I've always been a proponent of leave Shang alone. He's fine. You need cards like this to exist. And look at him now. The, the metagame has, has shifted, not even because of Shang. It's just shifted in general because of where the power is in certain cards. And Shang's just bad. Shang's not a good card to have in your deck right now. So I highly recommend if you are going to go out there and try a Darkhawk list, replace Shang, put something else in there for him. So my final verdict, this deck, you know, it still can do some powerful things, but it's weak into many of the top decks. And that's a big, big problem. You, you're going to face a, a decks with Mobius. You're going to face decks that just go over the top of what you're doing. And you're going to face decks that don't care about your own Mobius, right? We're playing Mobius because I thought, hey, maybe Mobius helps prevent some of that you know, some of those other decks from doing their thing as well, but not really. Most of the top decks in the game right now just don't care about Mobius at all so that they can also run Mobius, prevent you from doing broken things, but also just, you know, they get to still enact their game plan exactly the way they wanted to. So my recommendation, if you want to play this deck, is play it on ladder. Do not play it in Conquest. Over the course of a Conquest match, it is going to be very hard for you to win any cubes. On ladder, you can still... Uh, you can still get a little bit of wins, and the deck is still very powerful, so you should still be okay in general, but I don't recommend this deck for Conquest, and that makes me sad, because I do love Darkhawk. I just finally got a good variant for it, like right before it, its win rate went into the toilet. Hopefully someday things change, shift back around, and it becomes at least a viable Tier 2 or 3 deck. Right now, though, unfortunately, it is just not a deck that is very strong in the metagame. So... I'm going to give you a couple games that I played, show you kind of some of the, the successful games that I had. But overall, my win rate was not very good, and I do not recommend this deck uh, unless you just want to take it into ladder for a few games. And that's all I got for today. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, and I will, I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's kind of nice. Do you think they fall for it if I do it? Like, they were clearly, like, they're acting like they were doing it for the thing, but they're in reality, they're doing it because they think they're going to win. Like, look at this. Look at this start.
Doesn't this yeah, Shadow King mid Killmonger? Or... Yeah, I'm gonna snap him. Oh, it's gonna get pulled mid anyway, huh? We can play it next turn. Oh, it's fine. We have a Mobius in play. They Doom, right? Like, they're gonna Doom, so this beats Doom mid, and wins left. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to snap! Oh my god. Dang it! I forgot to snap! <laughs> I literally just forgot. <laughs> They have armor, probably, right? To back it up. No. Yeah. Armor? No. Okay. Let me get that shit out of here. So, wait, we have we have Shadow King to help with that. We should play uh, Mobius and Zabu. Because they're going to wave, right? Thinking that they get... Oh, they just floated. This goes down to four plus five plus six is ten. No, five. This goes down to one. Six plus six is twelve. This will be four twelve. We tie there and then we just play this here. We have eleven, eight. They win. They win if they have the freaking doom. We didn't give we only gave them one rock this game. Yeah. We lose. No, wait. What am I miscounting? Oh, the discount. Oh, beautiful. Look, that was still a good game, even if I miscounted. The fact that they snapped after I did it made me not want to snap back, by the way. I saw your, I saw your thing. All right, we need to not have cryo. I'll give them props for playing around it. That was smart, but we just need to avoid having cryo and we should be fine. They have Shauna too to, to fill up the middle. Can't play it here. It's gonna be Shauna, right? Yeah. So annoying, man. These locations are screwing us. If this pulls Doom, we always win. But if it doesn't, then we don't win. Yeah, I knew what you meant. I can just play big here. Like, I don't have big enough stuff to play mid. It's turned off right now, but it doesn't actually help us. It's over here, right? I don't see how that would ever win. Let's say they go blue marvel, Ant-Man mid. We lose to that. None of them are going to be full. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, look. Just got it. No, mid was not the answer because the, the Luke's bar was turned off. Go bum 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 bum. Well, have a rock. Right, we need to draw something to play next turn, please. Everything in the deck to hit is pretty good. Now Zabu's a bad hit. This sick beat. I'm taking a risk, because if they don't play over here, we're kind of in trouble. Shook it all off. Damn it! You son of a bitch! Oh, they don't have the docking thing anymore, but they have all my shit. So annoying. Shadow King mid? Oh, it resets this, right? Oh, that's way better. Does this win, though? They have eight cards, we have three. So even their, haw their hawks are tiny. I think we go for it. Sure. Oh, good call, too. No, wait, that's not enough! Yeah, it is! It's enough! You're a genius. I'm gonna pretend I saw that the whole time. I totally saw that the whole time. 